with the photo from French news agency where they admit, where they admit on record that there's Al Qaeda guys in black uniforms with the Al Qaeda flag with the UN observers. And the secretary, the UN envoy to the UN under Secretary Clinton, Rice, comes out Friday and says there'll be more bombings, Assad, inside Damascus of government buildings if you don't do what we say. There it is. Al-Qaeda rebel pictured with UN observer in Syria. Video also shows rebels transported in UN vehicles chanting Allah Akbar. And scroll down. And there's more. There's other photos, videos. Look at that. Black Al-Qaeda uniform with a black Al-Qaeda patch. You blow that up, the French News Agency confirmed, that is a Al-Qaeda, folks, guys, pull this up, Al-Qaeda flag flying over Tripoli. All over Libya, Al-Qaeda is the main force, given weapons by our criminal Federal Reserve, occupational New World Order government, along with the collaborators with the New World Order. They're giving them, who do you think the globalists are allied with? Saudi Arabia, that's Al-Qaeda central. Who do you think they use to attack Iran? Al-Qaeda. The State Department admitted six years ago they fund five different terrorist groups to attack Iran, four of them Al-Qaeda. There it is, Daily Mail, flying proudly over the birthplace of Libya's revolution, the flag of Al-Qaeda. There it is. That's the patch on the guy's arm. That's who they landed by the thousands in those boats the U.S. and NATO navies brought in. And then I've got to, when I fly, they'll say, oh, Alex Jones, he's a troublemaker. Where are you going? They now do the behavior thing. And I go, dude, you want me to play patty cake with you? You work for a criminal government that has you seizing control of transportation. You work for the people that run Al-Qaeda. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up traitor. Shut up, scum. Get out of my face. I'm not an unconscious jellyfish yuppie that doesn't know what country this is, that doesn't know the New World Order. It runs Al-Qaeda. There's more photos of it, of the Al-Qaeda flags. And that's who they're using. They admitted. They even said, oh, my gosh, Al-Qaeda's bombing Syria a month ago. We better give our rights up. They may attack us. Look, I actually saw on the news. I was flipping through channels here at the office like a month ago. I mean, there's articles. You can pull them up. They're like, well, it just shows Al-Qaeda is still alive. Uh, they're attacking Syria and blew up the police stations. And then it was Fox News. I remember it. Or was it CNN? And they just move right along. So they use Al-Qaeda to attack Syria and Libya and then even use that to say, look, Al-Qaeda is alive and well. We need to take all your money and take all your freedom. That is propaganda designed for people that are completely asleep. It's like when Bush gets up and says, um, well, Iran is running Al-Qaeda, the Shiite Al-Qaeda. And the State Department official gets up and says, uh, the president, uh, Mr. President, respectfully, uh, the Shiites and the Sunnis are two different groups, sir. And Bush goes back to the podium and goes, no, they're not. The total disdain where you're going to give your rights up, you're going to have your family assaulted, you're going to have fed goons running around at checkpoints everywhere on the highways now. And again, there's no real threats, so they have to manufacture them, and then everything becomes a threat. <clears throat> Let me tell you this story now. Okay, it's my mother for Mother's Day wants to go to where my parents went when they first went on a, on a road date. You know, they've been dating a few months at University of Texas in the 60s, and the first place they went on a, on a road trip date was to the Texas uh, National Seashore Padre Island to camp out. And so she likes to go down there. We went down there last Mother's Day. And so I'm going to go out there and I'm going to hang out with them at their pop-up camper. And so we're, we're sitting there on the beach and there's, there's no, no one down there on Friday. I mean, literally like one fisherman an hour drives by. Except there's, with Homeland Security decals, SUVs, big trucks and, 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 and SUVs driving up and down, and you look at the body language of these uh, Department of the Interior federal law enforcement officers assigned to the uh, <coughs> Park Service. This is hundreds of miles from the border, no crime to speak of, middle of nowhere. 
and they're driving up and down and they and they drive and they stare at you and they look at you and there's little kids, my little kids are building sandcastles. I'm sitting there leaning back drinking a fresca or whatever. <laughs> I wasn't actually drinking a fresca, but you know what I mean, drinking a water. I like to say that because Ted Knight says it in uh, Caddyshack. How about a fresca? Point is, totally non-threatening. You can assess, this is just, you know, oh, there's the grandparents, there's the parents. And they keep looking at us. So I think, okay, something's going on here. <clears throat> and they just keep driving back and forth, back and forth. I mean, just right in front of us, right in front of the beach. Just over and over again looking at us. Nothing to do. And that's my video I shot when I'm, we're showing it on screen when I went to town. That's another video that I shot once I got into town. I, I left. I went into Port A. I, I just couldn't handle it. I had to get out of there. And this guy pulls up, and my children are walking around, and my children have been running around up on the edge of the dunes. And, of course, the nanny state always has an excuse for why they're there. Oh, I just want to warn you there's rattlesnakes. And we're like, oh, thank you, yes. And then it goes on for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's not illegal. It starts looking at us like it's Barney Five. It's going to scare us. But you probably don't want to do that. And I went, yeah, no, we live in central Texas. We even have more rattlesnakes. I go, how many rattlesnake incidents? Oh, four last year. Of what, millions that come down here to, the, you know, 70 miles of this or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Well, thank you. And the parents are actually doing the talking. And he goes, yeah, we've got people that try to poach the sea turtles. He starts looking at us. They're about to, they're about to hatch. And we're going, okay, okay, great. Oh, yeah, green sea turtles. Yeah. And he just goes on and on the questions. The, you know, he's assessing us. Dude, I've assessed you. Okay, you're lucky if you can tie your shoelaces. Don't look like the chromosomes mix too well, okay? I've assessed you. I actually built a media system. I actually have a successful family of professionals. I'm somebody. You're nobody. Your uniform doesn't make you anybody, little boy. My mind is light years ahead of you. So you hadn't had success with women. Let me assess that part. Oh, yeah, I know who you are. I bet your family hadn't had much success. They picked you up like somebody scooped dog manure off the ground to turn you into their little minion. <sighs> Anyways, the point is, then more rolling by later, and I'm walking around with my kids on the beach, and I hear, hey, Alex. I go, oh, this is personal. This, it's another group of them drop, two lazy ne'er-do-wells who want to exercise power on people all day. Losers. Losers. Again, in the old days, you'd see them maybe once a day, and they're like, hey, how you doing? Hey, have you checked out this? No, this is in your face. Of course, I forgot to add, when I pull in, the guy goes, excuse me, where are you from? And I'll go, oh, God, an, an assessment, just like a Carlsbad Cavern. I'm from Austin. He goes, oh, I'm a listener, Alex, like your show. And he seemed, no, I'm like, okay. And he got another guy with me, and the guy's like, huh. And I'm like, okay. So I go, huh, and I, I drive in. Okay, so now it's about an hour later. I'm behind the pop-up showering off because it's a little you know, shower thing to get the salt water off me. And I hear two of them get out and they walk over and they go, just what do you think you're doing? And I hear my wife go, oh, get the camera. And I walk around with water dripping off me in shorts. And it's about seven o'clock at night, beautiful sunset. And there are two of them. I haven't seen these. It's, it's like roaches. There's so many. Way too much tax money, folks. I mean, I mean that, that uh, anyway, side issue. <laughs> They're listening right now, I'm sure. I don't have any better time. It's a giant compound, like a, like a Martian base or something uh, th that they've got out there of tax money when you drive in there. And again, everybody feeds the seagulls. We actually weren't even feeding them. Um, because I told the kids I didn't want to because I don't want them defecating on us, which still happened anyways. The point is, is that a few seagulls are flying around and the kids had dropped a, ha a hamburger bun in the thing and threw it up. They instantly caught it like a South Park episode and pop up. and But didn't say, hey, kids, don't feed the seagulls. My mother said in 40 plus years going down there, never seen this many, never had them even talk to her other than waving, just like piranhas and telling you, you know, I'm a federal law enforcement agent. We're like, I'm like, dude, I walk around the corner. And again, they need to be pulled down off their pedestal. That's why I'm doing that. They can't stand it.
I walk around the corner and I just go, look, I'm never coming back. I understand it's Agenda 21. I know you're shutting down seashores all over the country, which they're doing. And they're like nodding. Yeah, that's right. I'm, you're not even going to be on most of that soon. They're passing weird regulations where you can't even get in the water. The nannies, they ban dodgeball all over the country. These people hate America. I mean, they are scum. For a long time, you've heard... Yeah, the summers of old are gone. You can't fly without perverts trying to assault you. You can't go to a federal beach. <laughs> By the way, it wasn't just us, though. They were stopping at every two or three cars and harassing other people. And what I found was, because I went and interviewed them. I've got some of this on video. Car to my left's a listener, car to my right. Right after I confront them and they leave, first car that drives by, hey, Alex Jones, we're listeners. And I'm like, yeah, it's a police state. And he goes, yeah, we got 20 questions back at the gate. And again, my great uncle was dying of cancer. Wanted to go deer hunting one more time. Shot a deer. They took it to the processor. He didn't want to field dress it. I mean, they, they cut its guts out, but didn't want to fully chop it all up. State police pull my uncle and my dad over, blow up, pull guns out, freak out, tell them they're going to jail. My dad's sitting there going, the law is, we're the landowner, we can take it to the processor. There's the tag. They don't care. They want you to be a prisoner. They want you to be bad. And this year, I'm not even deer hunting. We're on our property. Whole bunch of uh, game wardens show up. I mean, man, my family founded the county. You know, founded the, the area. Doesn't matter, I'm scum. And they're just swarming all over everyone and telling everybody we're part of a federally funded task force. And some of the guys that were there, one of them had read in a whitetail hunting magazine, knew one of them, and said, oh, I saw you in a magazine. Suddenly, when it was about ego that way, oh my gosh, we worship you now. And it's like, wow, there's like six or seven of you Oh, we're your friends. Let us go ahead and check your records and go in your building and without warrants and all this. This is what America's turned into. And meanwhile, the government is narcotics, child kidnapping running on record, guns into Mexico, every form of crime run by big foreign banks. So even if you individually aren't bad, you are under the dragon's wing. You are the equivalent of a Soviet under Stalin. And, 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 and so I don't care. Look, all I know is I don't want contact with you and I can't get away from you. I, I mean, they've tripled the number of police in the last few years and bureaucrats and they're all arming and training and freaking out and buying into it's Al Qaeda. But meanwhile, they've now announced, oh, it's not Al Qaeda. It's for you, the American people selling Girl Scout cookies and lemonade. We're going to arrest you. And, and, and we're going to shut down garage sales and you're not allowed to use cash in Louisiana and secondhand sales because you can't be trusted or is it Mississippi? I mean, all of this is tyranny. I know what this is. So stop getting off on your government costume and understand I've read the Declaration of Independence. I know what it is to be an American and what you're doing ain't it. I don't care if it's in some pipe dream about Al Qaeda. So I said, don't worry, you've destroyed America, Gen 21. I know they've told you to start pressuring people, get everybody used to not being able to go on the dunes or in the water. And they're like, kind of freaked out that I knew all that. And I'm like, so do whatever you're going to do. I'm never coming back here. You've ruined America. Don't worry, you've got power. But you're not going to get fear out of me. And they got in their car and drove off. And I left and they left my parents alone the next day and a half. I went in and rented a you know hotel or whatever you call it. They call everything condos there, but they're hotel rooms. I just got out of there. And you went again, another part of America dead, another area gone. It's just so ridiculous. So ridiculous. And it has nothing to do with security, okay? The Government is the security risk in history, and it's the big security risk now, and I'm sick of it. We've got some of the video and some of the photos coming up tonight. My wife got out her big, big camera, you know, 35 millimeter that shoots video, and it died after she got part of the video of me confronting them. But you can't go to the beach now because it's just, it's feds driving up and down in front of you and constantly questioning you. And, and you know anything about sea turtle poaching, huh? Huh? Again, it's all these enviro crimes. And it's just like, give me a break. And they knew who I was and didn't care. Because I was in their sandbox. Where they are, there is no America. 
going to cover it tomorrow on the Nightly News.